let's talk about fuel dilution. What, what is fuel dilution? Uh, people have heard it. They're not quite sure what the term is. Fuel dilution is fuel that has gotten into the oil of your engine. How on earth did that happen? You're probably wondering, how did fuel get into my oil? Okay, so let's think about it. How does an engine operate? You've got air coming in, you've got fuel coming in. They mix, they go into your combustion chamber. You know, the piston's going down, it's drawing in your air charge, all right? Then your valves close, your piston comes up, it's compressing your fuel and air mixture. And as the higher that the piston goes up, the more compression there is in the cylinder. Some of that high pressure gas actually gets by the gaps in your piston ring and ends up going down into the crankcase where it then mixes with the oil. So fuel dilution is really that charge of fuel and air getting by the gaps in your rings and getting down into the sump and mixing with the oil. Now don't forget your engine is operating at many thousands of RPM, many cylinders, so there's a lot of this blow by happening. So it's very small amounts, but when we're talking about a lot of it happening in, in many cylinders and, and happening many times a minute, it does build up. So we're gonna end up with fuel in the oil. That's what fuel dilution is. So is that a problem um, for a racing engine? It most definitely is a problem because depending on the application, you may already have a very low viscosity oil in the engine. And what fuel does to oil is that it, if you get enough of it in there, it actually lowers the viscosity. So that could be a problem. I'm going to give you an example. Take, for example, NHRA Pro Stock race cars. These cars operate on oil that is not much more viscous than water. We're talking 3, 4 centistoke oil. It's really low viscosity. And so you start mixing fuel in there to any... Uh, you know, any degree, it can start lowering the viscosity of that oil. Now, it's already low to start with. We don't really want it getting much lower. So it's really important on, on a situation like that to, number one, try to keep the fuel out of the oil. But in all racing engines, we do end up with fuel in the oil. So it's really important to keep an eye on how much fuel is getting into that oil. And when we feel it's changed the viscosity to the point where it's going to start causing problems, we change the oil and put new oil in. So um, what fuel dilution can do is lower viscosity of the engine oil to the point where the oil will be at a viscosity that um, may not be ideal for the, the operation of that particular engine. And again, there's a lot of different types of engines, a lot of different operation out there, a lot of different types of racing. So. And we have to look at everything on a case-by-case -case basis, but generically speaking, putting a lot of fuel into the oil will lower the oil's viscosity and likely will have an impact on how the engine operates. The other thing that can happen is you start building up a lot of fuel in the oil, we can actually also start forming deposits in the engine if we let that fuel sit in there through long periods of time. And these deposits may not be in areas that are advantageous to the performance of the engine. So we want to make sure that we get that fuel out of the engine. We do that by draining the oil. So that's what fuel dilution is. It's fuel getting down into the oil. It does have problems associated with it. We want to get them out. You know, we don't want to have those problems. So we get that oil out of there. We drain the oil, get the fuel dilution out, put new oil in and keep the engine performing the way that it's supposed to perform. So that's what fuel dilution is.